The double reeds are wind instruments, and naturally the use of air is pivotal to their playing. But more important than simply using the air to get out sound, double reed players need to use the air for musicality and for phrasing. The shaping of phrases in music on the double reeds depends upon the controlled application of air. This is something that double reed players need to practice and need to carefully consider. The term playing on the wind refers often to phrasing that occurs when there are tongued notes or there are articulations. These phrases often feature a crescendo and diminuendo. There may be rests or spaces in the music, but that doesn't mean that the phrase is interrupted. Too often, players restart the airflow with each tongued note. This results in disjointed approaches to phrasing. Each note is given its own crescendo and diminuendo. Let me demonstrate. Notice how each note was individually shaped with its own crescendo and diminuendo and there was, there was movement in my jaw. Playing on the wind, however, is quite different. The wind shapes the larger phrase, not each note. Each note is articulated with the tongue, not with movement of the jaw. And changes in dynamics come from the single sustained movement of the air rather than the air being re-engaged with each note. For instance, here's playing on the wind. When I'm stopping the note with the tongue, and I stop in a way that it's not too abrupt, I am still continuing the air pressure. There is one continuous motion of the air, one uh, arc or shape given with the air here. Here is an application of playing on the wind in Orfici's 20 melodic studies for bassoon. This is the start of the second study. I uh, start by increasing the air on the second beat, through the third beat, into the fourth beat, with the arrival on the downbeat of the second measure. So this is one continuous motion of the air, a crescendo to the downbeat, and then a decrescendo after that downbeat. Here is how it sounds playing on the wind. Notice that chewing each note or moving the jaw would hinder this sound. Here I'm going to try to chew each note. if you could notice the motion in my jaw there. Playing on the wind more effectively phrases uh, the music and really gives a sense of motion in the music. Once again, I'm stopping each note with the tongue, but in such a way that it's not an abrupt stop. So in summary, playing on the wind forces the airflow from the lungs in one motion. Articulation by the tongue should not influence that motion at all. It should still be one phrase, one motion with the air. I hope this has been helpful for you.